it's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pass the Flight, Shoot Flight, Flex Luger. Call me what you want, but can't play the boy broke. They should I'm be rich in Christ, man. Back with another video as usual. If you have already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we rock with the flight crew. You don't have fun. Before we get started, I want to send a message out. I told y'all I'm coming for the early review crown. So make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy, underscore kicks with a Z. It's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pastor Flight, Show Flight, Ghost Candy Man, all the great names. Call me what you want. Cannot call your boy broke, because I ain't rich in Christ, man. Back with another video for y'all today, man. And before we get this video started, you already know how we get these videos jumping, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel right now, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We definitely have subscribers joining the family this weekend, man. I want to welcome y'all to the Flight Crew, one of the latest hypers families on YouTube, man. We keep it popping over here. We're going to continue to grow and keep moving in an upward motion, man. So, Thank y'all so much for subscribing to the channel. And as well as, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG, Fight Academy underscore Kicks with a Z. As well as follow my store page, Fight Academy Kicks underscore L-A-L. -L. Man, we get it jumping like no other, bro. So we are here, man. We are here with the video. Now, here's what's crazy about this video, right? We're going to talk about a topic that I actually talked about last year. I told y'all about this Earlier last year, bro, nobody really paid any attention. But once again, y'all could thank me, bro. When I tell y'all I be on point with this information and I be letting y'all know ahead of time to prepare yourself, you need to pay attention. Flight crew, I really be putting y'all on. And some of y'all gonna remember, like, your flight did tell us. I told y'all about it in the video and I told y'all about it in Sneaker Study Wednesday. What was going to happen, man? And now we've seen Foot Locker, man. Foot Locker. Well, not really even Foot Locker. Nike. Nike is making a huge move, man. They're moving away from these stores, bro. I told y'all this was coming, all right? I told y'all this was coming. Nike is like, you know what? Bump that, yo. We gonna control it. Now, I don't know if the move is being thrived because they want to, um, you know, just control what possibly backdooring and all that stuff. That could be the case. That could be the motivation for it. But I know for a fact, man, I know for a fact, Nike is seeing that number. They seeing the money that they can make themselves, and they're making that business adjustment. And I'm not mad at it whatsoever, man. I'm not mad at it, man. I just don't know what it's going to mean for a lot of the actual um, Foot Locker chains or the champs or, you know, some of your social status, some of your, your DTLRs, your JD Sports, because Nike is actually sending a message to them boys and saying, look, man, you know what? We're going to start pushing our own shoes out, man. You know, we're going to pop open our stores. Uh, we just had a store open up here in Tampa, man. And I think we're supposed to be getting another one, bro. So, you know, it's going to be a thing of where now you have to go to a Nike store to get your Jordan releases or they're going to want more full control over it. Don't know the full narrative of how they're going to shift everything, but that's a major change, man, with that DTC, man. DTC is direct to consumer. Nike wants to be able to put the shoes directly in your hand. Now, I'm going to say this much, right? When it comes to sneaker releases, I much rather deal with Nike alone versus the other retailers. I'm just saying. I've had smooth transitions with like the Jim, uh, Jimmy Jazz, the DTLRs, the the uh, City Gears, the um, social statuses. But a lot of times things be so iffy, man, with these Foot Lockers and Foot Actions. Well, Foot Actions gone, but Foot Lockers, your champs. Um, even finish line sometimes, man. So it's going to be crazy to see exactly when the separation happens and what's going to happen in general. Now, I do think that's going to open up the door for now these other Foot Lockers to get more Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? Because now that Nike is saying, you know what? We got it from here, man. We about to, we about to like really show y'all boys how to do it. Um, I think that's a good move. I think it's a good move. I'm not mad at the move. I'm not mad at the move from the business side of it. Or I'm not mad from the consumer side of it. I just feel like it's a good thing, man. Nike always take care of their people. Y'all can tell me right now in the comment section if y'all think I'm capping. Nike always take care of their people, bro. If an issue with your order, you can contact them. It's not so difficult to get in contact with them. They just be throwing promo codes at you like, look, man, huh? They go 20 off your next order for the mess up. You know what I'm saying? They've had some issues where they misplaced packages. Yes, I know some people have had bad experiences. I'm not neglecting any of that. I'm not going against any of that. I get it. But what I'm saying is for the most part, Nike seems to handle things a lot better, man. I trust the sneakers out more than I trust the flex out. I've told you that before. I, I stay away from the flex out, man. I get so aggravated with some time. And yes, I do get aggravated with sneakers out too, man. It's always a headache. I get it, man. But I think this is going to be a good move. And it's changing the way we've received sneakers and how we've got sneakers 
forever, man. There's so many changes that's going on. And even I see, man, with the actual Foot Locker, like, the stock and Foot Locker is dropping like crazy, man. It's dropping like crazy. But let's not forget, though, they once made a meal. A meal. <laughs> they once made a deal with GOAT. So could we possibly see something transpire more with that? Could we see something get stepped up a little bit more on that side? Think about it, man. They knew this move was coming. You know what I'm saying? They probably couldn't make the announcement, but they knew this move was coming. So, what you do as a franchise, what you do as a business on someone who owns something, you know a move is coming, you make the adjustments too. You figure out, okay, let me figure out how to get ahead of the curve so we don't have a drop. Because they know once Nike made that uh, announcement, like, hey, all Jordan releases going to come through Nike only, you know what I'm saying, and no other sneaker store, mm, that's going to change. And it brings up a question. I know some of y'all itching to hear me say it, but it does bring up a question. What happens with the smaller stores, the mom and pop stores? Mm, I mean, because we know. If you know, then you know. I ain't got to say nothing. What happens with that? I don't know. There's some adjustments that's going to be made. There's going to be some adjustments going to be made, man. Like I say, I think Nike is making the, the control move just to be able to be able to fully oversee all releases and have their hands on every part of it. But we know... You know, it's things they got to get tidied up at the warehouse too, man. So, like, that ain't really going to change that. I'm going to just be honest with y'all, man. Some of y'all itching for the question. I don't want to just drop no information out there like that. But, hey, listen, they got a lot to tighten up if they think that they just going to breeze past it. Nah, buddy. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. They got a lot to work on, man. But, like I said, I respect the move, man. It's a good move. I'm rocking with it heavy. Um, Like I said, we're going to see an increase more and more, man. And just, like... The prices of sneakers, prices of sneakers about to go up. Understand this. The resale value of sneakers is about to go up. I'm going to drop a whole other video on that telling you exactly why it's going to go up. I don't want to go into that. Y'all stay tuned for tomorrow. Be prepared for that. I'm going to let y'all know. Price of sneakers is about to, they about to jump. So y'all be prepared for it, man. Y'all be prepared for it. But we're going to get off that topic right now. But yes, man, Nike is coming in with the big dog mentality. Like, yo. We got this, bro. This ours. You know what I'm saying? We handling it, man. So it's gonna be good to see, man. Definitely gonna be good to see. Definitely different. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a good one, man. But let me know right now in the comment section what y'all think about this move from Nike, man. Is Nike being bullies? What are, What are y'all feeling, man? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. You know what I'm saying? It's a crazy one, man. It's a crazy one. We're gonna have to get with it, bro. It's go. It's a crazy one, man. But hey. It is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. But yes, indeed. Make sure y'all stay tuned in and wrap in with what we got going on, man. Yes, man. But Nike, Nike's taking over, bro. Nike, Nike's taking over. And like I said, it ain't gonna stop nothing from the resale part or getting the early pair. That's that's not gonna be an issue, man. I'm not gonna really talk about how that's still gonna be able to flourish. But like I said, that's that's not gonna be an issue, whatever, man. But um, I think that Foot Locker will recover. The Foot Locker, the company, will recover with this. But like I said, I, I know they'll probably push to get more, um, you know, more Yeezys. I wonder if they're still going to be able to get dunks and stuff, though. Um, I do need to do a little bit more research on that, on whether they're going to pull the dunk releases and all that. Like, I don't I don't really know. But I would only imagine the way dunks are going right now, if they pull the Jordan brand releases, the dunk releases going to be out the window as well, man. So you should probably expect to see that, but we're going to learn more and more about it, but listen, I told y'all, bro, I told y'all last year, bro, I told y'all early last year, like, listen, this is what's coming, everybody's like, oh, okay, we'll see, I don't see how they're going to do that, now y'all starting to see, man, listen, flight, don't be wrong, boy, I be on it, bro, listen, man, show me my respect, man, you know what I'm saying, give me some respect, man, in this game, bro, so, Without further ado, man, you know how we rock it, man. Listen, if you have not already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Just want to bring that topic to you, man. We're going to keep that topic open. We might even discuss it even more with Sneaker Study Wednesday. So y'all be prepared for that, man. Make sure you tune in this Wednesday. We're going to talk about it because this is definitely a different, man. This is a different route. Something we need to be prepared for, man. Something a lot of us did not see coming, man. So let me know what y'all thoughts on it, man. But hey, if you have not, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. More videos coming this week, man. Everybody have a blessed week. Be safe. Be prepared for whatever. Y'all already know what I'm talking about, man. But stay strong, man. Till next time, you know how I rock it, man. Take flight with the flies. If you ain't flying me, just ain't flying right. Hustle, motivate, moan, and nip, man. And we out.